Before getting married to a Turkish person, you must consider these things. Feel uninvited Left home in West LA I'm not excited So uninspired Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you can see my son is there. He's eating maize. Mustafa, what are you eating? Some maize? You want some Netflix? In today's video, I want to share with you some of the things you should consider before actually uh, getting married to a Turkish person. And also, I have to tell you some of the things that I want to mention to you. They can uh, apply to any other person, even if the person is not a Turkish. So number one, when you are getting married to a Turkish person, even before getting married to a Turkish person, Number one, something very, very important you should consider is, are you two in love? Like, do you love this person? If you don't love this person, why are you wasting each other's time? Why should you go on actually beating around the bush? Why don't you just let the person go and find someone else that they can build a relationship? I always see or I always... Um, have conversation with some people and they say that oh i love this girl because she's beautiful because of uh finances because of uh whatever whatever whatever, whatever. but if you go deep inside you ask that person do you really love that person uh apart from what you have mentioned then you will realize that they don't love you and i wish ladies should learn to know if the man really loves you so that they cannot waste their time actually just sitting there thinking that, oh, this man will marry me, oh, this man will. Because most of them, they already know who they're going to marry. They're going to actually waste your time and they won't marry you. So consider knowing, does this man really love me? Yes, Papa. Number two, something that you should actually consider before getting married to a Turkish person, it is the location where does this person reside which area exactly which country uh, which county exactly which province because in turkey we have different provinces and also, also different states different um different cities depending on the where the person is coming from if the person is uh, coming or raised in the city, uh, maybe in the city life, maybe let's say uh, in Istanbul, Izmir, Ankara, Antalya, Alanya, Bosa or Basa, whichever city in Turkey, then probably this person is modernized. But if you find that there are some people who are born in the village, raised in the village, and I'm not trying to discriminate anyone, but those people they might have different culture or different uh, character uh, than the ones who are in the city so before you get married while you are still dating ask that person and you by the way where which city are you uh, like where were you born and where have you lived like where are you living or where uh, have you grown like entire your life so that you might actually know exactly what you are getting into because for instance when the person is born in the city uh, in the village maybe let's say for instance we have our village i'll take you one day there in the odemish there and then this person according to the culture or ac according to to the to the village life and you as a person maybe as a foreigner you grew up in the city uh, seeing everything beautiful and cooking beautiful dancing going to parties and this and this and this and then when this man actually takes you <laughs> when this man takes you to the village then that is the trouble the trouble begins there because you don't know exactly what you're going to do in the village as a person who is raised there are you able to handle such situation so that those are some of the things that you should ask yourself are you able to live in the village because the village life and the city life is not the same okay and turkish people they do have villages. most of them they do have their villages like where they were initially born and maybe some of them they have and most of uh, some of them they don't and then uh, we have those who just live in the city they don't have any 
uh, village life. However, you must consider asking that person exactly where you will be living and where has he been like raised because probably if he's raised in the city he knows more about the city life and also there's some cultures he won't be doing like uh, telling you to do okay another thing that you should actually consider before even getting married to a turkish person is actually to ask uh, uh, to see does he respect you does he or she respect you does she respect your opinion does she respect uh, what you are saying or your plans or anything to do with the respect because you don't want to actually date a person who doesn't respect you like for seriously why should you waste your time when a person disrespect you in front of maybe your friends in front of uh, maybe you are family and you are just there comfortably saying oh this is my man i'm gonna get married to him or we are getting married and you have already seen his character because some of the red flags uh i'm telling you they can actually appear uh, or he can actually uh, show you the bad character even while you are still dating so if he disrespects you in front of your friends or even not in front of people he just do something that annoys you not even annoys you something that you know that this is not right then why should you waste your time actually dating such a person and then why should you waste even your time or why should you consider marrying such a person a person who doesn't respect you doesn't respect anything about you that's a no 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 for me Another thing that you should actually consider before getting married to a Turkish person is actually uh, knowing the religion. I know, I know, I have spoken this a lot of time that I'm a Christian, my husband is a Muslim, and love and religion doesn't go together. However, it is not easy. I have to warn you, yes, Baba, getting married to a person who is not in your religion, it's not that easy, my friend. It's not that easy. It requires faith, grace from God. Because can you imagine uh, a person who actually, of course you love this person. You want to build a family together, but you can't pray together. You can't go to the church together. You can't do certain things together as people with the same religion. So it is a very big uh thing to actually determine sit down to yourself and ask yourself are you going this direction when you are deciding to get married to a person who doesn't uh, share your religion are you able to handle whatever it comes and let me tell you 90 percent of uh, Turkish people they are Muslims and that doesn't mean that uh, we don't have Christians no we have however if you are a lady and you are getting married to a Turkish person who is a mos Muslim and then he wants you to convert to be a Muslim are you ready to convert are you ready to sit down and just say no I'm leaving Christianity and I'm going to fully into Muslim Muslim Muslimic <laughs> into being a Muslim because uh, everything has its consequences and also the step that you take will matter a lot so are you ready to go in fully so those are some of the things that you should consider if you can't respect or if you can't handle such situation then don't do it don't 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 try to waste his time or her time dating or doing this and this and by the way Turkish girls who are Muslim they don't marry Christians according to their religion I don't know why but I think it is something to do with their religion uh, but however Muslims boys like Turkish Muslims they can marry Christians okay another thing that you should consider before getting married to a Turkish person or even to any other man outside there it is about effective communication how are you communicating with that person are you understanding each other does he give you time to explain yourself does he listen to you does he actually consider what you are saying something good and does he do according to what he said because if you don't have a proper communication 
it can be a hindrance to your relationship and i know in most cases you're gonna tell me oh i'm having a problem with my man because they don't we don't speak the same language it is fine nowadays everything has been improvised like you can use a google translator and communicate however how much are you sure that you're gonna handle such situation because uh language barrier is a major thing in relationship and i tell you from my experience it can be annoying and also frustrating when you want to express yourself uh like when i'm talking to you you understand me what i'm saying but when i'm writing you cannot see my feelings you cannot feel what i'm feeling but when i'm talking when i'm angry like ah, i want to shout at you then you will understand that this person is actually at her limit however when i'm just writing even if i write something bad you won't see it on my face so it is so difficult to handle such situation however I'm not saying that people should not love each other because of the language. Of course, people should love each other if you can be able to communicate at least one language or at least some words that you guys can actually do what can actually understand each other and sit down and actually talk things, talk stuff together and understand each other and then you are well to go. If that your partner gives you time to speak and he listen to you and even if you are not in the same language they is not speaking the same uh, the same language but he listen to you and understands what you are saying then that's good you can go ahead with your marriage okay eight on my list is about the age and when I speak about the age I'm not saying or I'm not trying to discriminate any person who is not your age however you should consider are you able to date a person maybe let's say if you are older uh, your husband is older and you are younger how are you going to handle your relationship are you able to date that person without having any problems or are you going uh, to marry that person without any uh, problem because let me tell you even though people say uh, age is just a number it is just a number but there are certain things that come with age for instance an older older person if you are a young person who likes jumping up and down and partying and doing all those stuff you cannot tell a person who is older because most of these people who are older they 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 have already experienced their life they have already party they have already danced with boys and girls and they just want to settle down and they don't want to go outside to do stuff with you and also because of the judgment outside the criticism outside so most of them they fear and they just want to chill down so if you are a young person and you are getting married to a person who is older than you are you able to handle him if you can then well and good do it if you cannot then you must think about your relationship again okay and also let me tell you these young people who are more young they tend to have more time and they want to do stuff they want to exchange girls they want to do their own things they want to study they want to do so and so if you are older lady or you are older person and you are dating a younger person then you might find a problem or you might find a problem actually doing what settling down with such kind of uh, boys or such kind of men of course Taki is not exceptional we have young people of course they're handsome they're cute as you have always told me and I have to tell you most of them they are not that serious with girls especially foreigners you must really think about it number nine or number ten on my list is about to learn new life skills remember you are getting married and maybe let's for instance you are getting married you are coming here like i said this video is about turkish people you are coming here and you are from your own country and maybe it's gonna take time for you to settle in or to know each other well you must know that marriage is not just a bed of roses that you're gonna be cuddling each other all the time uh, marriage is not that you're gonna be kissing all the time and also doing those stuff all the time it comes with its responsibility are you able to do certain things in the house are you able to 
take care of the kids okay. if the kids will are uh, involved okay. are you able to actually learn new stuff learn new skills learn new language learn new food making some food because when you are dating remember if you are dating you are not together maybe staying together frequently but this is time this time you are dating and you are going to be committed to this person so are you able to do some life skills like are you able to learn new things If you are not then don't waste your time just go ahead with the life parting and doing all those blah 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 and when you are ready to be committed and to learn new life skills then you can continue to marriage something very important i have to tell you is about to lower your expectation when you are dating a person not only not only a Turkish person but if you are dating a person and you are uh, you have high expectation like oh he gonna buy me this he gonna build me this he gonna bring me this he gonna do this my friend you gonna have to lower your expectation because not everybody is actually with that much money to do what you want and also if you are thinking oh because we are dating we are in a long distance relationship he gonna behave this way then my friend you're gonna lower your de- expectation because not all of them do such things okay you must able to ask him what will happen when i come to stay with you will i be able to work will i be able to continue to study will i be able to continue building myself so such questions are very important and very crucial in relationship before getting married to a turkish person something else you want to consider is the financial stability of the person and also of yourself of course When you are getting married doesn't mean that you're going to be depending fully on him even though if it is a new country then you cannot directly just go go and start working so is this person able to provide for you is he able to handle uh everything in the house is he able to pay the bills like is he able to actually put something on the table because you don't want to come or get married and just be there and start looking or struggling and uh, doing what and what you don't have anything in the house you don't have even a house where does this person live so you have to consider these things before getting married to a person and also where exactly is he still staying with his parents if he he's still staying with his parents then are you able to actually uh share the room or share the house with his parent and if he's not fully st- established and uh you are not then it's going to be a problem because remember marriage comes with uh many things commitment and all those things so you have to also consider such things before. last but not least it is about the kids and also some stuff that the marriage or maybe if he is already married or maybe before be uh, maybe for you, for instance if you had previous kids you must consider asking him how will it be will you actually will he actually handle your kids and if you find him with kids are you able to handle his kids so that uh when you are coming into this marriage you have to understand that most of them they have maybe previous relationship so are you able to handle his kids and if you are coming and you have kids previously is he able to take care of your kids so such question are very important to ask before even getting married because remember if you are coming from another and i'm speaking this because of my experience if you are coming from another country and you are coming to get married here uh and you have kids the procedure is for you to get married first and then he gonna adopt this uh kids like he gonna uh not adopt uh, yeah something like that he gonna actually when uh you are getting the resident permit it will be under uh family family resident so is he able or is he willing to actually see your kids as his like provide for them do stuff for them and you're going to ask him where will the kids live how will they go to school how will they study 
So those are some of the things that you should consider before getting married to a Turkish person. I hope you have liked this video and if you like my content, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time, again, I'm going to take care of this little man here, this Turkish man. You see this Turkish boy here? Until next time again, I'll see you. Bye bye. I love you. I love you.